My name's Rick O'Connell, I'm the drummer for Royal Rebels Rock Band. Like everybody else, I was playing drums, pots and pans, kitchen floor. Had little kitchen brushes, and sitting there while my mom was doing dishes, and my parents were cooking, and just had a good old time banging out stuff on the, on the floor there. Uh, I had the older brother that kind of got me into listening to music, and uh, so right around, I don't know, I'd say like in first grade, second grade is where I started paying attention to what he was listening to. And, one of the first records that he got was uh, Michael Jackson's Off the Wall and then Thriller and then uh, right after that was Toto 4. I, I was in a, another band. I was uh, I was doing the uh, day jobber life for quite a few years and then uh, I was able to, as time moved on, get back into the music scene. Uh, you know, I did the church thing for a while which was nice to keep my chops up but as my time freed up in the evenings and then able to get into you know, more of the music scene in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, I was able to get into a couple bands and uh, really got back into the flavor of what the scene actually was. So I joined up with the band, uh, hanging out with those guys for about a year and a half. Uh, simultaneously, I was asked by Bill Lanero to uh, come in and sit in on the Royal Rebels as they were coming together themselves and they needed some help with playing the drums just to get some of their demo stuff going. And, I didn't know who Stevie was, I didn't know who Andrew was, I knew Bill for gosh, so like 20 something years, it was uh, mid to late 90s I, I met Bill and uh, we got together on uh, a session that he was in uh, for one of his early uh, solo projects and came back together with him there uh, to help out with the Rebels and I didn't know but the entire time that I was coming in to do their demos they were actually auditioning me. So. Uh, it was a real pleasant surprise when they offered me the seat in the drummer. Uh, as far as the Rebels go, um, I, I see big things. Uh, with the lockdown of 2020, and that was a pretty disappointing, it was a heartfelt year for everybody. Um, but 2021, is uh, it's looking really big for us. We didn't sit by and just stay idle through 2020. We were busy, we actually went into the studio to record our debut album. So. Be on the lookout for that. It's actually coming out really soon, and um, it, I'm excited about all the music that's on there. It was a fantastic event. We got in and just hammered out two days of Prairie Sun Studio. Um, it had a, an amazing time, so I'm excited to see that. Uh, be on the lookout for videos coming out with some releases here. We got singles coming out. You'll be able to see all that stuff on Spotify or the digital streaming platforms, um, and then. Uh, new album. We want to come in, back into the studio, get in there again, do another stint. Um, there's, I'm really, really blessed to be in a band with uh, a bunch of guys that are extremely prolific writers. So there's stuff that we've got in demo form that we just haven't even practiced yet, but all of it sounds amazing. And it's like you, you come into the, the rehearsal space with these guys and it's like, Everything just really comes together and it's very flawless. It's real easy as far as producing a song and you know bringing it out of a, a little demo phase or a riff and then you bring it together with uh, four other amazing musicians and then you got this great song that everybody's really vibing off and just you know feeling enthusiastic about.